Um, Friday, welcome to my live sesh. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. We have a quick show for you today. We won't take up much of your time this morning. Uh, quite, there's about seven things I need to get through, and we have a fun little slideshow for you as well. Hi, hi, Tina. Hi, Betty. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Hi, Mimi. Uh, and where are you coming in from? Oh my gosh, Ramel, you can see the little doggy peeking out. That looks so cool. Kind of like a, a little icon or something. Here's my stuffed animal. My sister got me this stuffed animal years and years, like probably 25 years ago, no joke. And this is Tori's quilt and coat, which I made, I don't know, two years ago. I did a little Instagram reel on how I made it, but I got so many emails that I'm going to have this be a class. And I did use a base pattern, which I have in my shop. I have it for small dogs and large dogs, but... Uh, the, this whole quilting patchwork thing is not in the pattern, you know. I, I just did that. And you can figure it out, too, if you want to. But we'll be doing a class soon for that. Good morning. Welcome. Okay, I think what we will do, Connie from the UK, Jacqueline, yay, love it. Camera. I think what we'll do, how about this, Ramel? We start out with the slideshow, and I'll kind of talk through it and let people know what the makes are. I think more and more we're going to do this more often. I only grabbed as many photos as I could do within about an hour yesterday because I didn't have a ton of time. But we're going to do this more and more. So if you have makes using So Hungry Hippie materials or my patterns, please post in the group. Because <laughs> Yay! He knows the sketch, <laughs> right? Uh, Elizabeth. Fun, so fun. Hi, Jackie. Welcome, everyone. So glad you're here. Hi, Freddie. So I think that's what we'll do for this one. It's going to take, I think, about four minutes of Makers Makes. And I grabbed these photos from our Facebook Makers group. If you want to join that, the link is in the description box for this video, for this live sesh. Is this going to start now? Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. This awesome little easy zipper case made by Alice. That's Moon Glow Vinyl on the bottom there. That is beautiful. I love that batik. She also made this Ruby Star easy zipper case with Moon Glow Vinyl on the bottom. That pattern is in my shop. Amanda with an easy zipper case. Gorgeous soft gold vinyl on the bottom. That's restocking soon. So if you need that. Oh, Barbara made this gorgeous bag with our clear white heart vinyl on the front. I think that is so eye-catching. Busy Bet made these adapted Santorini totes. How gorgeous. The zippers and fabric and tulle webbing are in my shop. Carol F. made a modified Santorini with peach croc. I love that iridescence. And I like your handle statement there, Carol. She also made a Santorini that was more tall than wide with this Alexander Henry fabric. Gorgeous. Carolyn C. with an easy zipper case with a little added wristlet strap there, crimson soft on the bottom. And Cheryl T. with her deep space soft vinyl. And she quilted it. That's so pretty. Cheryl also made this one with the contrast bottom, easy zipper case pattern, Alexander Henry fabric, and gunmetal soft vinyl. Connie made a Woodstock bag, and she used waterproof canvas, I believe. For her Woodstock bag. Connie also made this. Ooh, yeah, I love that. Clear leopard, and she lined this curved case pattern as a free tutorial on my website. Dell rocking in with a Betty Bow bag out of lavender stardust vinyl. So cute. Elizabeth B. Cool Lizzie. All these luscious bags with various So Hungry Hippie vinyls over the past four years. Jackie coming in with this cute pencil case and soft vinyl and our tiny stripe zipper. Super cute. Janie, love this. She took a photo with the pattern so you know what the cover looks like. I love that. Soft rose gold on the bottom and Anna Maria. Kat coming in with this gorgeous bag, Mint Moon Glow and Anna Maria Spark source code in, I think it's spark. Kate H with her Holland pouches in soft Vinyl. I love that. And she did a Riley Blake fabric statement there. Lynn and her Woodstock bag with peach crock vinyl. Really nice. I love that. 
that iridescent. Madeline made these heart pouches. It's a free pattern by Sincerely Jen, and that's all those vinyls are in my shop. They're geometric rainbow. Marie F. did this uh, patchwork kind of crazy quilt block easy zipper case. She made quite a few of these. If you want to see more, join the group. Maureen in this sling bag with marble vinyl. I love marble vinyl. It's just so classy. That's in the shop. Melissa made all three of the easy zipper case sizes. This was a box set, and I believe we still have a few more of these. Michelle Graham with her Santorini tote. I think that's Vegan Leather on the bottom, might be, or maybe Black Moon Glow. She also made some easy zipper cases. I believe that's waxed canvas on the bottom. Yeah, very cute. Nydia came in with this bag, just beautiful. All moon glow vinyl with the leopard cork accent there. And she said that's the one with more Mino bag. Pam from Blue Bye Bye with this all cork bag. This is pepper cork in our shop. It has rainbow flecks. Paula B with her easy zipper case. This is a kit. We will be restocking these soon. Beautiful. Sharon with her itty bitty pouch here in lavender moon glow vinyl. How pretty. Can't believe she could sew something so small. Made by Sue D. Santorini tote. Look at all that. Pepper cork, our color striped zippers, sewable leather straps. And Suzanne rounding it up with clear glitter stars. This is a 10 minute zipper case. Video is on my YouTube channel. That was fun. <laughs> Those are all so great. If your make wasn't in there, nothing personal. I just had to stop at some point. So please post your, vote, your photos to our makers group. You can also post on Instagram and tag me at SoHungryHippie with an IE on the end, not with a Y. <laughs> I, I think some people get missed because they spell it wrong. So I just wanted to say that. I do reshare. I try to post in my stories and I also will do montages once in a while on Instagram, whenever I can. And a lot of times I will post these montage videos that are much longer on my YouTube channel. So follow there if you're not already. I appreciate it. I have quite a long one for Santorini totes on YouTube already. I'll have to find that link later. I forget what I called the video. Okay, so there's that. Thank you so much, makers. You all are totally amazing. Really appreciate seeing your work. I made a bag last night, spur of the moment. Hi, Dalva. Hi, Chris. And I want your guys' opinion because I'm not 100% with this. I think it's a cute bag. I think the concept is super cute. I'm just unsure about the frame. It's sort of like if you've ever made the retreat bag, it's sort of like that. But it's from Zaka Workshop. It's called the Cosmetic Case. And the pattern comes with this tiny frame and the white zipper. And I do think it's cute. I used fusible fleece and SF-101 as interfacing, so, and just fabric. So it's quite collapsible and soft. I don't think you'd want to do foam unless you left it out of the frame channel on this bag, just being that it's so small. But let me show you. When it opens, it's like a square. Yeah, it is kind of vintage-y, isn't it, Catherine? Uh, Jacqueline? <laughs> Jackie. So I think it's cute, but when I zip it shut, I had to call Ramel over because I'm like, why doesn't it look quite like the photo? And he says that I need to like tuck in the sides after I, cl after I close it so that it looks a little bit more like the photo. So I want your opinion. Do you, do you think it would be worth it to stock kits or do you just want the pattern with the frame and the zipper? I can do either or. Or do you think it's too small? Do you think you wouldn't use it? Um, yeah, we can't have all the things in our shop, so I just want your opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. I used Ruby Star Reverie, and I used one of the fabrics we sold out of it, but this was a light print from Firefly, and they play well together. Now you can see a thread here. I still have to hand close it right here. I think it is supposed to be symmetrical, and I sewed it up exactly how the directions said, and I feel as though it's not 
perfect, if I'm totally honest. Maybe it is, maybe it's my eyes, maybe it's because the zipper hangs off and I don't usually do bags like that. Um, yeah, so there's that. Okay, well let me know. Think about it and let me know. I'm, I'm still, there is, the Zaka patterns, they all have hand sewing inside. And there's ways around that. I, I did not hand sew one portion because it's like you do it twice. It's like you hand sew and then you flip it out and then you sew with a machine. And so I didn't do that. I think it would look cool with binding on the zipper. Binding on the zipper. Like on these edges. Yeah, maybe that would look better. Maybe it's the white zipper that kind of freaks me out. It's a little strong. Um, this one does have fusible fleece, Jackie. I, I did fusible fleece and SF-101. I did SF-101 on the exterior and fusible fleece on the lining because sometimes fusible fleece can look a little bumpy, so that's why I did it like that. But Oh, I, I mean, I finished this in about 35 minutes. It, it's, I think it's pretty easy. Now, the caveat is I did not hand sew the portion that's hand sewed. But again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, so, yeah, I would say it's a, a beginner, confident beginner friendly pattern for sure. It is Wireframe Cosmetic Case. I don't have it listed in the shop yet, but I'm, I'm testing it, yeah. And that's why I do want opinions, because I'm just kind of like 50-50. I could go either way. So there is that. If I were to sell that pattern or the kit, I think you guys might want a video of how I didn't do the hand portion. I'm all for hand sewing. It's just that I don't have a whole lot of time and I wanted to see if it would be okay without. <laughs> what? Yeah, not hand sewing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people just don't have the time. So, anywho, let's move on. Another, another new pattern that I'm thinking about getting in, uh, it's not new, it's been around for years, but the Diva Wallet. And there are a couple of very similar patterns online that I could stock. I did buy a bunch of frames. I'm gonna list those soon. My mom made this wallet. I love it. I have several that she made me. And it has pockets and a zipper pocket inside and this clasp, it's just really easy to get into. These take some time to sew up, but you know, once you do one, you know what you're doing. So I did buy the frames. Are you guys interested in just the pattern and the frame, or would you want the kit? I'm thinking about that. So, Elizabeth, yeah, well, and she would know she's done a ton of patterns. So, yeah. All right, I will look through those, those comments soon. Let me know what you think. Both the cosmetic wireframe case, wireframe case, we could call it, and something like the Diva Wallet. There are several patterns out there I could get to. I don't know how to silence my watch. <laughs> Let me give it to you, because it's pinging. Okay. Grades are coming in. It's the oh, end of the semester. Okay, so there is that. One thing, I'm just gonna say it here. If you bought the carpet bag kit, remember I showed this last week? If you bought this kit, or the pattern in the frame, Check your frame, and if we sent you the 16-inch frame, we'll send you the 12. <laughs> it was a boo-boo. We've had a lot of help in store, which has been so fantastic, and I did not check these before they went out. And we had some 16-inch frames and 12-inch frames, so some got mixed up. Just check your order. I'm happy to send you the 12-inch out immediately. I will be getting the 8-inch frames in soon. That's for the size small bag. Uh, Ramel, do you mind handing, I think it's right over there, the small carpet bag on the, on, right over there. It's pink. I could show that again. So this is the large, this uses the 12 inch frame right by the couch there. No? No. Yeah. That's it. 
this is the 12 inch frame, this is the eight inch frame. See the size difference? So they're both super cute. Yep. Close ended. Well, so you take a screw out here, Delva. You pop it out when you're inserting the frame and then you pop it back in on the end. And I will say, I don't have super strong fingers and I made Ramel do it for me, <laughs> that part. But I have seen women put them in and out just fine. Some people will use a little mallet. It's not difficult, it's just that my fingers, you know, I'm using my fingers all day long and they just get a little bit sensitive. So just want you to know that. So if you got a 16 inch frame, I apologize, just send me an email and I will fix it. I do have a pattern coming out probably next week, not my pattern, um, that uses the 16 inch carpet bag frame. And that would be the size that Mary Poppins has in her film, okay? So if you're interested in making that carpet bag, keep your frame and send me an email and we'll talk. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I want to show you what oh, I, uh, what's wrong? The wallet my mom made. Yeah, uh, yes, they're closed. Like this part, is that open? It's not open. Yeah, it's a really nice frame. Yeah. I love it. I love that. Yeah, years. And I have, she made me a vinyl one, a purple vinyl one. And, and she also made me a sparkly copper glitter one. And both of those vinyls I don't care anymore. So, okay, next up, if you're into garment sewing, which you know, I am, I love it. I'm gonna be carrying this blazer pattern. This is the Heather blazer. Oh, sorry. Did I touch the mic? I'm so sorry. Is that okay? So it has big pockets. I'm just gonna have to take it off. And I made mine from Ruby Star canvas. Did I do it again? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't try on clothes anymore. Apologize for any mic mishaps. I made mine with Ruby Star canvas, and I lined it with Duchess satin because <laughs> I'm extra, I guess. But I sewed that up in a night. It was not difficult at all. And so you will be seeing that pattern coming in soon. It has a whole bunch of size ranges. And right now, I think it's Friday. Pat, pat, no, I... I'm not gonna say. I'll just, yeah, right? It would match your mittens if you did a blue one, Jackie. Jackie made awesome mittens that I posted on the Facebook page if you guys haven't seen that. They're so cool. Okay, so all the new stuff I'm gonna show you today, I will link it in the Sunday email this weekend. So if you're not on the email list, you might wanna get on there. I try to always link whatever I've talked about during the week, as well as questions answered and tutorials and things like that. So I'm gonna show you a couple of new tools that are not listed yet. They will be very shortly. We have gotten in large ergonomic, I call these unpickers. <laughs> these are seam rippers. I can never remember seam ripper, I just say unpicker. And I love the way these feel in the hand. They're, they just sit really nicely in a bold purple color. This is by Dritz. I really like these. I'm testing one that has a light on the end, and I'll get back to you because I feel like maybe it's not worth the extra cost. So I'm going to test it some more and get back to you. If you're doing the sew along with me, the Stitch Happen Sew Along, you might want a seam roller. I'm going to have these in the shop today. So we've gotten some of those in. We also are stocking Riley Blake clappers. If you don't know what a clapper is, a lot of quilters will use these to get their seams really, really flat. Uh, I, I mean, I use it maybe 20% of the time, but if you're a real stickler for perfection, these can help a lot. So you would press your seams. Some people use steam. I use starch. I don't put water in my irons. And uh, 
once you lift your iron off your seam, you press this down on top. And it can really help if you're using a wool pressing mat. I will say, I love the wool pressing mats. I have an ironing board at home, and I actually bought a super long wool mat, and I put that on top of it. Because something about the wool just really allows the iron to press it really, really well. So, I don't know the technicalities behind it, but it does work. I've noticed an improvement with my piecing with that. that. <gasps> Tamara uses a clapper with her bags. Uh, what does the seam ruler do? So, Kat, sometimes when you're sewing a bunch of, let's say, half square triangles and you're having to press them open, some people don't take it to the iron. They'll just use a seam roller and roll it down. Uh, I use the seam roller more in paper piecing, honestly, because with paper piecing, there's lots of little bits and you're constantly having to press. So I'll use it more often in paper piecing. Yes, Lynn, aren't they good? I know. I must. I probably have four wool mats. I just love that. Okay, are you guys ready to see a new vinyl? I better hurry up because I said we wouldn't be here long. <laughs> <laughs> so if you liked the faux lamb's leather that was navy blue i think you're gonna love this this is such a beautiful neutral color it's sort of mauvey a little bit like not pink not quite nude it's sort of in between i would say it's more of a mauve and i would love your help naming this it's got this beautiful brushed backing. It is not sticky. You may need a Teflon foot, you may not. It depends honestly what machine I'm using, whether I need the Teflon foot or not. It can be interfaced however you want, or you can just leave it alone and sew a bag. It'll be more slouchy. I think I'm gonna do a hobo bag with this. Yeah. So Elizabeth also uses a clapper. Oh, you know, I never thought about the interfacing fusing step. I may, I'm going to do that. Thank you. Thanks, Salva. If you guys have a clue on what I could call this, comment. Oh, I guess I could flip over. Sure, why not? It has, yeah, sure. It's pretty much a smooth surface. It's not textured like moon glow, but it looks like leather. It looks like lamb's leather, and it's very supple. <laughs> and that's the backing. If you can tell, this is like, it's almost like the back of suede. That's what it looks and feels like. So there it is, gorgeous. Let me know what you think for a name. And I will have this linked in the Sunday email for sure. Good. Dusty Rose, I like that. Oh, Zoe's here. Or Dusty Rose. Oh, I like both of those. Are you having a rosé? <laughs> rosé all day. Okay, so there is that. Uh, I did want to mention, some people might not know, I do have my Instagram account where I also will post all these updates and new products and stitch sew along uh, information and, and all kinds of stuff. So if you're on Instagram, you might want to hit follow over there and watch the updates because they will be coming through. This Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central, we'll have another Zoom for the people who signed up for Stitch Happen Sew Along. That's the sewing machine quilt, the wall hanging or a lap quilt. Uh, <laughs> it's always wine time in the UK. <laughs> um, so that is at 6 p.m. I did send an email with all future Zoom links for January in that email, as well as complete instructions with screenshots on how to sign in. If you missed it, email help at So Hungry Hippie before Sunday. <laughs> Last time I was truly panicked because I was getting a lot of emails last minute and I couldn't get it done and then sign in. So that is that. Okay. 
that is that information. We have a winner from last week, right, Ramel? Oh, yeah. Timmy, Timmy Lynn Scott. If you could email me, natalie at sohungryhippie.com, we will send out your prize. And we're catching up. We're finally about caught up, I think, right, Ramel? Uh, over the holidays, we had quite an influx of both personal and wholesale orders. So I think now we're totally caught up and no more waiting extra days for your orders to ship. Sorry about that. We do have help coming on board. So we're going to get right back to shipping your order out, hopefully by the next day. We do tell you that as long as there's no pre-order items in it, it will ship for sure within three days. So there's that. I think I think that might be it. Yeah, I did in the beginning. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, let me know. I did, I think last week I went over quite a few about zippers and zipper tabs and my easy zipper case pattern. Uh, and we had a few others, but I left that list at home. So I will probably answer those in the email this weekend as well. There's so many places to catch up on info, you know. And remember, all these live sessions from previous weeks are on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. I also link it in the emails on, I say here, you can see past live sessions. It's also on the, on the website main page at SoHungryHippie.com. And in a lot of those past live sessions, there are, there's so much information. So I just want to remind you of that. They're there for you always. I think we've been going live now for two years. I think it's two years straight. And I just remember how petrified I was in the beginning, just shaking and everything, so nervous. And now it's like I'm showing up with friends. So thanks for helping me out. All right, Happy New Year, and I will see you all next week. Thanks so much. Take care.